For the last part of this lecture, we are going to summarize the solid types and predict relative melting and boiling points. Please recall that there are four general types of solids. Metallics, which are composed of metals on the periodic table. Ionic solids, which are composed of metals and nonmetals, or have polyatomic ions. Network covalent solids, which are near the metalloid region of the periodic table, and molecular solids, which are composed of nonmetals. Metallic solids can have a range of melting points from low to high. Ionic solids have high melting points. Network covalent solids also have high melting points. Molecular solids have low melting points relative to ionic or network covalent, and this is because molecular forces are still weak compared to ionic and network covalent forces. Here's a series of questions regarding which substance has the higher melting point, which means which substance has the higher interaction energy. I'm reasonably certain you could guess between potassium chloride and methane just from being alive on this planet. But let's go through the analysis of material type. If we determine the type of compounds, ionic and network covalent compounds will have higher interaction energy and melting point than molecular compounds. Potassium chloride is an ionic solid. Methane is a molecular material. Ionic beats molecular. The next example is diamond or carbon dioxide. Once again, I know you could guess very easily. If we take it down to the solid type, carbon is a network covalent solid and carbon dioxide is molecular. Once again, network covalent beats molecular. What about aluminum nitride or calcium sulfide? These are both ionic solids. If both are ionic, in general, the compound that involves ions with larger charges has a higher melting point than ions with smaller charges. So aluminum with plus three and nitride with minus three will have a higher melting point than calcium with plus two and sulfide with minus two. Our last comparison is chlorine or iodine. These are both molecular solids. So as was covered earlier, in comparing molecular solids, compare hydrogen bonding, dipolar, and dispersion forces, recognizing that molecules with greater mass will have more dispersion forces than those with lesser mass. So since iodine has greater mass, we will pick that as the one with the higher melting point. So now it's your turn. Determine what type of solid ammonium sulfide and magnesium sulfide are. Then determine which one would have the higher melting point in theory and give the reason why. How about silicon dioxide compared to sulfur dioxide? Which substance would have the higher melting point and why? For this question, compare ammonium chloride and nitrogen trichloride. Which substance will have the higher melting point and why? And finally, compare this compound shown here and this compound shown here for higher melting point. I'll help you out by drawing the structures. I hope you find these pictures helpful.